So I'm not sure if you guys know this already, but I love my Tobira textbook. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Anyway, today I thought I'd share with you guys why I love the textbook, how I use it, and what you can expect to find in it. Stay to the end if you want to find out what I don't really fancy about it as well. So the Tobira textbook is targeted at learners around the M3 level, and it's a great book to move on to once you're done with the Genki series. The book is broken down into different chapters, and each chapter features a different topic relating to Japan. So for example, we have topics like technology, sports, food, pop culture, education, religion, so on and so forth. The chapter always starts with one main passage. I usually listen to the audio while reading the text once first, while marking out the parts I don't really understand. This is just to give me a rough idea of what the passage is about and to see how much I understand. Next, I refer to the vocabulary list to learn the words I don't know. While listening to the audio, I also like to mark the pitch accent of the words like this. Then I read the passage again on my own while referring to the vocabulary list for words I don't know. If there is something I still don't understand at this point, then it's probably a grammar point. So then I refer to the grammar explanation part of the book. I know people find studying grammar very painful, but here's the thing. My goal in the study session is to reach the point where I understand the passage completely. I feel like that makes learning grammar more practical and less like a chore. What I like about the textbook is that it also includes formal and informal conversations in every single chapter. The conversations are set in a variety of situations and are very good for shadowing. I like that different chapters in the book provide pleasant surprises, like this part that is drawn in manga style. At the end of every chapter, there is also this short article about something that's culturally interesting about Japan. For me, I honestly think that Tobira is one of the better textbooks that you can find for the entry level. But of course, there are also certain things that I don't really like about it as well. It was written quite a while ago, before the whole YouTube, Instagram era, so as you can imagine, it is pretty outdated. Even the chapter about technology needs a serious update. Next, I wish that the pitch accent of the words were included in the vocabulary list as well. Also, another disadvantage is that not every topic is interesting. But I guess this is also an individual preference. Like for me, I found the topic on politics very, very difficult to get through. But I know some people might like that actually. Lastly, I feel that the level of the book is a little bit of a jump from the Genki series. Like I struggled a lot for the first chapter. And it didn't help that the first topic was on Japan's geography, which for me wasn't the most exciting thing to start with. I would say though that for anyone who is looking for something to move on to from Genki, I would really recommend this. But you know, you might have to take it slow, especially in the beginning. Listen to the passage on repeat, like on repeat, many times, many times, until you feel like you really fully understand the content. So uh, I would love to know, do you guys have any opinions on the Tobira textbook? Do you use it? Or is there something else that you're using that you would like to share, recommend, you know, come on. Please let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, I hope I haven't scared you off. I usually use this channel to post my Japanese conversation lessons. So if that's something you're interested in maybe, then do consider subscribing. But in any case, thank you for sticking around this far and maybe I'll see you again soon.